my, my call is November, Papa 4, Echo Tango from Puerto Rico. Your signal is 5x7, very good signal, Q Tom. Uh, I am QRP on ICOM 705, Roger. Oh, wow, uh, very good signal. Very good signal. Where, where is your antenna, antenna use? Uh, we're using a high gain AV680 in the backyard, but I am only at 5 watts, Roger. Wow, Roger, Roger. Uh, very good. Uh, congratulations, my friend. Uh, thank you for the contact. 73 Kilo, Julia Ford, Yankee, Sulu, India, November, Papa Ford, Eco Tango. 7-3. Hello, everyone. This is KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts. Talking about another little mini video on this series of the new ICOM IC705 transceiver. Now, before we get into this, to answer the thousands of questions and requests, when's the radio going to be available in the U.S.? How much is it going to cost? Well, I did ask my friends at Gigaparts, and the only thing I got was late summer is when they're going to be shipping them, at least for Gigaparts. They couldn't give me a definitive price, but they did say Gigaparts is the only dealer, dealer offering no reservation charges, okay? Uh, reservations with no charge. So you can check out Gigaparts because when I buy this radio, that's where I'm buying it from, okay? In the meantime, let me show you something here. Now, do we remember in previous videos we talked about my great oh-so-loving neighbors who just moved in and dumped $875,000 into this little house in this little tiny neighborhood. Can you imagine how many electronics and devices are happening over there at that house? I mean, we got like 35 cameras on the property, a light every four feet. It's causing a lot of noise. And now listen to the QRM I'm having. There's a young operator there, but listen. Call and CQ. If you're interested in the radio or something like this and you wanna know how could I use, how could this benefit me having a radio like this to knock out QRM and interference and noise? Let's try a couple things, okay? So listen to this, all right? Now watch, we're gonna go into function. We're gonna turn on noise blinker first. That's the first thing everybody turns on. The noise blinker pretty much, you could watch, you see I have the waterfall set differently than what you've seen in the last video. Watch this. Okay, a little more rough. Now listen. But it doesn't do much. Now watch the noise reduction. Listen to the noise reduction. And then you can hear that station just above this one interfering. Watch the band pass or pass band. Watch this. I could shift over a little bit. Let's turn down the noise reduction a little bit. Watch this. About a five. Watch, I can squeeze the filter down. Okay. That's Blake, young operator. Let me turn the preamp off. There we go, listen. Digging out weak stations, okay? Now, I'm going to turn all that off right now and watch what happens. Listen to the, the hash that's coming in. Now watch. Same thing for CW. Now watch this. We're going to go to CW. I'm going to go down here to the CW frequency. CW station. Let me turn everything off.
Now you can see a lot of that buzzing, right? Electrical noise. Now watch. I could narrow the filter down. Listen. Nothing but CW is being broadcast out that speaker. You can see a lot of noise over here, but of course that's not even interfering. Now we have a notch filter as well. Now the notch filter basically, uh, you know, an automatic and a manual notch filter. It, it tries to locate and attenuate any signal that's interfering within the receive pass band. Now sometimes that can jump around a little bit, but let's see what happens when we turn it on. Okay, now watch this. I could hold this, position. I could move the position of the receive pass band where it's notching out everything on each side. You can hear that it's it's like a there's like lobes there. You can hear it's coming off the side. Watch. Okay. Put this on. Listen to it. To turn it off. Right. Now I could even take this filter up here, make it wide, shift. If there was a signal, or I could hold. See? Now I can adjust my bandwidth, the pass band one, pass band two, soft or sharp. Yeah, that's the fall off edge of the receive pass band that where you're where you're filtering out. That's what you're dealing with without the filtering. Makes it a lot more enjoyable to listen to the stations. 7-3 everyone, KJ4YZI.